Yamato, one of the largest and most powerful battleships of all time. Yamato had reached quasi mythical status, a perfect example of Japanese military leadership's frenzy with world's largest weapons. The ship was built in 1937 at the Kura Naval Shipyard near the city of Hiroshima. She was launched in August 1940 and commissioned in December 1941. And here are the basic parameters of Yamato. The ship was 256 meters long, the beam was 38.9 meters, and the draft was 11 meters. Yamato's full displacement of about 71,000 tons made her the largest ship of the world, eclipsed only by both core American aircraft carriers. Yamato and her sister, the battleship Musashi, were armed with three cheaper 46cm guns, two cheaper 15.5cm guns, 12 of twin 12.7cm guns, 162-25mm anti-aircraft guns, and four 13.2mm heavy machine guns. On these five power aimed at sinking enemy battleships without the need to use many warships. An extremely large number of anti-aircraft guns were added during the refit to keep the ship against American air attacks. Unfortunately for Yamato and her crew, she was out of debt by the time she was launched in 1941. The fast attack capabilities of the enemy aircraft carriers at the range of torpedo planes and dive at least twice the range of Yamado's largest naval gun. By the beginning of 1945, the Japanese army was in a very difficult situation. The territories that Japan occupied in the Pacific region were recaptured by the U.S. Army and they approached Japanese territory. Okinawa, the largest island in the Ryukyu Island chain, was the last fortress under siege by the U.S. Army. The invasion of the U.S. Army on Okinawa Island began on April 1, 1945. To stop the American advance, the Japanese Navy conducted Operation Tango. Battleship Yamato, escorted by cruisers and eight destroyers, would move to Okinawa to reinforce and intercept American naval forces. Yamato and her fleet designated the Special Attack Force left the port of Tokyo Yama, Japan on April 6 to head south through the Bango Strait. The US Navy knew about Operation Tango in advance thanks to cracked Japanese military codes. Two American submarines were waiting to intercept the Japanese Navy fleet. Yamado and her escorts were spotted by American submarines but could not attack due to the high speed and zigzag tactics of the Japanese fleet. Upon receiving the news, the U.S. naval forces surrounding Okinawa were alerted and ready to fight. At 8 o'clock on April 7th, reconnaissance planes from Admiral Mitchell's aircraft carrier and the 58th Fleet located Yamado, 18 nautical miles 
from Okinawa. Admiral Mister decided to launch a massive preemptive strike force consisting of 280 fighters, bombers, and torpedo bombers. Within two hours, the fleet of the Japanese Navy was subjected to merciless bombardment from the air by the U.S. Air Force from the aircraft carriers. Air forces from 11 carriers of the 58th Fleet joined the attack. The number of planes in the air was so much that the fear of mid-air collision was rare. Yamato was hit by two bombs and one torpedo in one attack. At the same time, two escort destroyers were also sunk. The second wave of the U.S. Air Force consisted of 100 aircraft. When Yamato showed signs of weakening resistance, the U.S. naval pilots changed tactics, launching torpedoes into submerged part of the hull. At that time, Yamato was hit by 10 torpedoes and 7 bombs. The damage was very heavy. The captain and many sailors tied themselves to the ship to sacrifice with their battleship, and many sailors tried to escape. At 14.23, the Yamado's forward ammunition depot exploded, turning into a spectacular fireball, resembling an exploding tactical nuclear weapon. The pillar of fire reached a height of 2,000 meters, and the mushroom cloud rose to a height of 6,000 meters. The end of Yamado was the inevitable consequence of an outdated military mindset. When the era of aircraft carriers had replaced battleships, the Japanese general's preference for battleships and their resolute pursuit of outdated military technology degraded the Japanese Navy's combat capabilities and resulted in the deaths of thousands of sailors. My video about Yamato battleship answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.